Welcome back to Guado Salam's storyline sequence. Care to hear about the far plane or the fireflies? Sure. Uh, tell me about both, but I guess we can only pick one. Ahem. The far plane's the place where fireflies born from ascending gather. They appear in the shape of people who've died and gone to the far plane. Quite the phenomenon, how I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. They say the fireflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. But only the dead appear on the far plane. No image of the living has ever been seen. It's a great mystery, but maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the hearts of the living. And that little bit borrows the firefly's power for their paranormal performance. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. Care Pity. Care to hear? Ahem. They may be called fireflies, but they aren't really flies, you see. They're those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the fireflies doing. In fact, fireflies have something to do with aeons, too. The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. Or maybe not. Nobody has any idea. There is a... Um... Albed Primer in this place. One of the houses, whatever you want to call these stupid things, contains it. I don't know which one, but we're going to do an exploration of this entire area before we do any of this story. It'll do all the story basically back to back. I think Owaka is also in this place. There's a shop here, and I would like to investigate it. It may have been that place I was already in, or maybe this place. There's the Albed Primer. Kbagan. So Bagan, Kbagan. This is probably not a shop, considering it looks like a house, and I'm pretty sure it's in a house, so... Let's blitz sometime. I believe that's the guy you can recruit. If you push square, I believe it tells you. Yeah. Pogwato. He's already on a team for six more games. If you're going to recruit uh, people, like best team kind of scenarios, uh, don't play any matches until you recruit those people, because sometimes other teams will recruit them if you play through matches and let stuff expire. Uh, all of them are free. I'm pretty sure, anyway, all of them are free when you first start. I believe also resetting stats might affect that, but I'm not sure. There's a Waka. What do you have? Do you have any Water Strike? Now you just have base stuff that I could add Water Strike to. And Lightning Ward, which I am actually going to probably... Ah, oh, they're so expensive now. The Devastator would actually be a good buy for her. I meant to equip that, but... Let's check our stuff and fix that. See if anyone has any sort of yellow equipment. That way we don't have to buy one. And we'll probably actually see what it takes to make Lightning Ward. That's everyone. What does it take to make Lightning Ward? How do we do this? Customize, buckler... I can't actually... HP Stroll is pretty good, by the way. I can't actually make... Lightning Ward. Presumably because I don't have a single... You have to have a single item that would allow you to do it. For it to show up in the list. What can we add to a weapon, out of curiosity? Not a whole lot. Distill, which is alright. Especially if you get distill ability. I don't remember what that takes, though. Hmm. Yeah, there's not really anything we can add there, so let's buy... All of this yellow stuff is going to take pretty much all of our gill. 
and I'm going to equip it to everyone. And the reason I'm doing this is because the- and also why I wanted, uh, water weapons. Because the entire next area is... Thunder. It's the Thunder Plains. It's a lot of thunder that occurs over there. She needs some HP pretty quick. What do you have, sir? Oh. Again, you. if you've given him money, it's much better to purchase things from him because he will be cheaper than the uh, shops that you he is next to, basically. Like, that Devastator, actually, I'm pretty sure is cheaper than the shop he's right next to. And I don't remember what we just paid for all the yellow stuff, but apparently he has it as well. And remember, that was 16k at the shop before, now it's 12.8. So, Awaka is a better deal, especially if you give him the 10k, which drops his prices to 70%. Right now they're double, by the way. Uh, but if you if you give him the, the 10k, his prices will be 70% rather than 200%, so his prices are very good. If you can, if you pay him the money, so. Um, there's really no one in the town I need to talk to. Really the only thing in here is Albed Primer and cutscenes, so let's go ahead and start the, uh, the cutscenes by heading over yonder. So I walked into a wall that was behind that door, but whatever. Don't question the physics. I don't like the smell of this one, eh? Neither do I. Oh, we can't actually go there. We can go there in 10 2, I believe. This is used for something entirely different. These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Mr. Seymour doesn't look like them, no. Don't you know? The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Oh. You know, Seymour does kind of look like the people in those pictures, but whatever. Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. Nobody does. Uh, I wonder what smells so nice. Stay close to Yuna. Why does he want to see me? This way, please. I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question and you're explaining things. You'd rather I say nothing then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin too? Well... There are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkand is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think, either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. Guado sure know how to eat. What could it be? Oh. <laughs> 
truly it is good to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a Guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough trouble. Must I always endure such praise? Welcome. You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Xanarkin? Correct. Xanarkin. As it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkand. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? Lady Unaleska! She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone to defeat the undefeatable Sin. It took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity.
Wow, your face is beat red. You okay? Uh, oh, she's actually blushing uh, this time around. Uh, 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 she's also having some fun down there. He, he asked me to marry him. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna. No, all summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating Sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. We will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. Now that we've done that, oops, meant to walk straight forward and Yuna, walk to the left. High Summoner's daughter, Seymour, the leader of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? What? No way! We gotta defeat Sin! Romance can wait! You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this. But I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat Sin. Like Braska before you. I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the far plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? There's going to be very little actual talking from me during this entire episode by the way it's it's in it's a very heavily story based area and i'm this entire video is just going to be guado salam so it's not going to be a whole lot of me if you care there used to be a um i think it may have been the the albed primer we actually got in the house but there used to be an albed primer that was here i'm pretty sure and it may have been the one that was moved to the house, or maybe it was moved somewhere else, or I'm just misremembering, but I'm pretty sure there used to be something there. And I'm pretty sure it was an Albed Primer, but who knows. Question. About this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? 
Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. <laughs> you thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> You'll see once we get there. Important revelation about Arin, by the way. Aren't you coming? I do not belong there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the Pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. If you recall, uh, Seymour said they're keen to the scent of the far plane, asked why Auron is still here. And Auron won't go into the far plane. You might be able to make some connections there if you're a little bit keen, or have played the game before, like me. The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they look so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up that game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again, here you are on the far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about. I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? When you do this scene, it doesn't tell you. I believe it does it instantly. Yeah, it doesn't tell you, but it upgrades the Brotherhood. Adds some additional strength, Water Strike, and Sensor, and you notice they put Water Strike on it. Right now, before we go to the Thunder Plains, where everything is weak to water to make it seem much more powerful than it really is. A little bit tricksy on that, aren't they? He is dead, and I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> w what? I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but there'll be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Hmm, how about mm, Waka? 
What, me? With Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough. Not even close. Oh, sorry. My mistake. You'd do well to remember that. Knowing a bit about women might come in handy someday. Yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bevel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jet. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's Sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is Sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Ah. Uh, uh... Mom? It's her. She's very pretty. But... Wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. That's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. It's okay. Ah, I think I just figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See, so I told him what I thought of him right there. What, really? Of course. <laughs> I, suppose, I suppose, but... but... Mommy. Mommy! Just, Just a, sec, a sec, dear. dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just, Just a, sec, a sec, dear. Ah, go to him. You'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. There's a Kamari in the background. Well? Need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> Apparently there isn't everyone in the background. Thanks for waiting. 
I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. Oh. Lord Jiskal! Oh, Lord Jiskal! He does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. Hint number three. Lord Jiskal. He is Lord Jiskal no more. Send him now. <laughs> Was that just now? That really Lord Jiskal? I don't understand how a man like Lord Jiskal can die and not be sent. I would think that he was sent once, but he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. Go, meet with Maester Seymour. Yuna! Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Um... What? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way's fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For you not, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. Listen, if Yuna gets married, then I... What? That again? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. See? But if Yuna said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. Huh? Uh, you're not making much sense. I know. If you're wondering why I keep wandering around, there's a very specific talk order, and I don't remember where people stand. You need to talk to the initial conversation, which is with Lulu, then talk to Lulu again, talk to Riku, and then finally talk to Lulu, and that should trigger the story sequence. When we leave here, we have to go through the Thunder Plains next, you know? I may or may not have skipped a Lulu step in here, apparently. Lulu? I've talked enough about that. What? I'm sorry, just forget about it. Jeez, Grumpy. You'll understand one of these days. I just don't want to give it words, not yet. I shouldn't have to say this, but don't fall in love with her. I see, but you must keep your feelings inside until the pilgrimage is over. Stand, Thunder. I 
God dang it, Riku. Blarg. Maybe just talk to Lulu a bunch of times. I don't know, but whatever. I'm a little worried about Lord Jiskal. I wonder if Maester Seymour has heard. For a while there, I was a little worried about what was gonna happen, yeah? Huh? We leave as soon as Yuna returns. I trust you'll be ready. I think we have cleared all of the dialogue. There's Kamari somewhere, I think. I don't know where Kamari hangs out. May not even hang out in this area during this bit. He's somewhere. <laughs> he's somewhere doing something. I don't know what, but he's definitely somewhere doing something. But I believe we've cleared all the dialogue. I think. Okay. My, oh, here we go. Was the latest Hello, summoner not with you? No, she's at Seymour's place. That's Maester Seymour, or Lord Seymour. Oh, I'll be careful. Sorry. That's all right. Oh, Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago. You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Whoa, I gotta tell the others. Lord Jiskel, please tell me, what can I do to help? Yuna, let's go! Say Seymour went to Makarena Temple. Makalania Temple. I? What I don't get is, why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? Maybe I? he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Ah, that's probably it. <laughs> Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. I wonder how much fun the voice actors had with that little scene there. It's Macarena Temple, it's Makalani I. The way he says I is just... It's hilariously different from every other piece of dialogue he has. Like, I don't know what's going on when they did that, but it's just, just so sudden, it's just so... drastically different that it's funny. But anyway, welcome to the Thunder Plains. Riku has quite the uh, backstory during this area. Oh no! We're here! Ah! How are we supposed to cross that? See the lightning rod towers? The lightning is drawn to them, hopefully. We head north, not too near and not too far from the towers, yeah? Meaning we should avoid wide open areas. Ah! I think I forgot something in Guado Salam. Nice knowing you. Okay, okay, I'll go! That butt shot. This game likes its butt shots. Welcome to Tutorial Land. Lightning can strike Humphrey and the Gandolf Thunderplanes. There's a save point there, which the game conveniently runs you all the way right up next to the save point, and then runs you all the way back to the starting area for seemingly no apparent reason. We'll be back here later, there's a couple of things. Um, one, dodging 200 lightning bolts consecutively, and two, those glowing cactuar stones, which I will probably activate that first one, but I will not activate any further ones, and we're going to adventure slightly into this area. Also, also, there's mash protection. You can't just mash the X button to dodge stuff, which is much to my dismay. So that's probably going to be terrible, and I didn't want to get the random counter. 
So I may actually just straight up flee from this one. I think it will actually do that. That will go so easy on you next time. This video is not meant for battles. We will have none. We will have none of your battles. Right. Let's save. That's going to be the end of the Guado Salam bit, all in one go, just as I hoped for. Uh, and next is the Thunder Plane, so I'll see you guys then. That'll probably be two, at least two, probably only two, we'll see, videos. So I'll see you guys then, thanks for watching.